All right. Good morning, Princeton ISD teachers. We are here today, me and Miss Nelson, to uh, teach you how to make a test in Edgephoria. Uh, yes, it's going to be fun. It It'll fun. be easy. It's easy. Two words I was going to use, fun and easy. Good <laughs> call on that. All right. Great minds think alike. Um, I definitely do build a lot of tests in Edgephoria often. Um, and if you're struggling with anything, always feel free to reach out to me or any of the instructional coaches can help you out with this. Also, any of your teachers that are core teachers, some of them have been making tests in Edgephoria for a while. So reach out to them anytime you need it. So we are going to go to class link always and find your Edgephoria. This will single sign you on to your Edgephoria. Now we're going to be working in aware. Once you're here, you should automatically be on the assessments tab, but if you're not, you're going to click on it. And then down here in the bottom, you're going to put create a new blank test. We're going to write PISD, sixth. And on the cheat sheet that will come out with this, we'll have all the naming conventions specified on there. So you're going to find your subject, grade level, teacher test that stays here, and then add your course. This is where you go find your course. Are we going to mess with the grades at this point? No, you're going to leave all that to um, somebody else. This is it on the first step, getting everything set up, and you are done after that. Generate test time. Now that you have generate test, I want you just to take a good look over here up at the top. Um, you have some tabs that you want to familiarize yourself with. General tab is everything you just did setting it up. So if you need to make any edits here, you'll do that here. Um, there's also this delete assessment. Do not do that. I'm going to walk through questions. This is our biggest one right now. You're going to hit the plus sign. If you're a core class, you have item banks. If you're a non-core class, majority of you do not have item banks. So you're going to have to write these. You're going to press add item. One of the things you're going to need to make sure you do is align to a standard. So you're going to click select standard and you're going to click whatever standard that is. And then you're going to type in your text. There is an option to add a table or add a photo. So an example there, you're going to have to click that photo, choose file. It'll bring you up to your downloads and we'll click that file. Once you press open, it's saying this is the one we're going to use. And then you have to then press insert file. Your file is now in there. If you want to change the size of your picture, you can double click on it and this height and width can change to usually 150 is a good number. If you need this picture on multiple different questions, I would add the picture to multiple different questions. Um, if you are needing to add any math, I encourage you to reach out to me. This is not a simple task. It's something that I would love to talk to you with individually. Here's the next part. You need to make sure you have your answer choices correct and in here. So you need to have four responses. So you need to add response one, two, three, four. Make sure you have the right answer choice chosen. In. All right, so we're checking the little circle next to the correct answer. Yes. And if you want to do any shuffling, that's what these arrows are for. So we press create and our test item is now in our test. Things that some teachers worry about is the font size, the font, bold, italicized, all of that stuff. Do not worry about that. It exports the same on every single test. So don't worry about any kind of changing in fonts. Um, so the next three tabs are I want to talk about are layout, test key, and administration. So on our layout, this is where, look at our style. Make sure this is laying out correctly. So if you're a secondary teacher, this textbook style, we want to change this over to secondary. Our elementary teachers, we want to leave it larger font. Now, if you hover over your questions, you see that something pops up here. Okay, this is where our formatting comes into play. Um, it's going to be either two lines or however many lines you want underneath it. If the kids are going to need some room to show their work, you're going to want to make these larger lines. It's nice. You have to go through a couple of different menus to get to that on the old aware as well. Yes, so that it's is just right there on this layout, layout tab. And then lastly, if you feel like um, you want to save some paper and you want to make your question half width, you can click this and then it changes our test to be um, a half width test. Um, you have to do that on every single question though. Now, on the spacing, do we typically want it to be down on that too, unless we know we need a bunch of extra room? Yeah. Two is um, very generic. Fit more questions on the page that mm -hmm. way. Okay. For sure. It's not always the way it looks here is the way it prints to PDF. So you'll want to press print here on print option, print to PDF. It will export to a PDF. Really encourage you to look at the PDF version of this and not just here before you think that you're done. All right, so this is what it looks like after it's exported and you just wanna double check that this is the way I want my test to look. If not, you're gonna to wanna to come back in here and do some edits to your spacing, your half width and whatnot. All right, test key. We're over here on the test key tab now and this is where you will notice um, your balance in answer choices. We do not want all of our answer choices to be A or answer choices to be C. One, another thing you wanna double check is that 
all you have standards on every single question because that is something we are requiring. It is easy to shuffle questions in the test key by just hovering over this and moving it down. Lastly, on our administration tab, this is where you're going to go once you are completely 100% satisfied with your test. You're going to go to this area right here that says share a copy and you're going to type in that teacher's email address. So I'm going to do W Nelson and then press enter and it says your test has been sent. So if you don't get this then your test has not been sent. So that's the last thing you're supposed to do once you have completed your test.